hottest story on the block as of the making of this video in early March of 2024, exploring the Sweet Baby Ink scandal. I made a video about this, but it's also quite the rabbit hole, folks, because a lot of things are connected. Now, we have a good few sources in regards to this uh, topic, mostly from the uh, Fandom Pulse. I'll get to those a little later. But uh, first, it's good to see Devil's Air. I hope you're doing well, my good man. And it's good to see that you haven't been murdered by Moroccans in the Netherlands. People who know of Dutch politics and society will understand that reference. Everyone else will think I'm a madman. But uh, every creator worth their salt, folks, is covering this topic, from hypnotic to nerd wars, the angry badger, words of paradise, cult classic cage, even Atreus, even black Americans are covering this, although he actually spread a, a bit of fake news, how African-American of him, uh, to name but a few of the many fine folks who are dogpiling these uh, scandalous fuckers into oblivion, from Kim Belair, who is the uh, diverse CEO of uh, Sweet Baby Inc., to one of their chief employees, a black tranny demon by the name of Chris Kindred. So here are the sources in question, AK. Oh, wait, let's get your perspective first, AK. Have you heard about Sweet Baby Inc. and the, uh, and the scandal, or is this uh, uh, completely new for you? Um, when, I first, when I first heard about it, I thought it was malarkey, but upon looking at the evidence of what was presented and, and the fact that their CEO is coming out and saying all this stuff, it, it, it has proved what, what we long suspected because, because back then, the, game, the games back then, they already had all this diversity stuff, but it was never forced. Like it, mm. it was there, but it was like more of an organic nature. What Sweet Baby Inc. and others are doing is not because I, I I'm pretty sure that the games that we saw um, before we found out who was really behind it, I really wish they would have gotten more success on us. But given what we just learned and who who the main culprit culprits are we we can now confirm that these people that this company is the consultant behind those uh oh I have we lost AK? Ink. my goodness no, man good. as far as i can tell we're having technical difficulties maybe it's on my end i have no idea uh, let, let's let's blame AK's uh, sheer lack of, of signal quality. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I might as well go through the sources in question just to enlighten everyone, especially Americans. Please ignore my uh, microphone. It's having a, a not microphone, my headphones. It's just expressing its pleasure. Uh, some of the sources in question come mainly from the Fandom Pulse. Great guys over there at the uh, Fandom cannot speak today. The Fandom Pulse. There we go. Uh, the first source is uh, uh, Sweet Baby Inc. CEO Kim Belair, a speech urging employees to terrify video game companies uh, if they don't give you what they want. This is a headline from Jack Dunn, a contributor to the Fandom Pulse. I would bring it up, but my signal uh, can only really handle one tab. And I wouldn't ask uh, AK to bring anything up because his signal can barely handle his tab. But uh, this article was released on March the 5th, 2024, and it's only one of many such articles from the, the Fandom Pulse, another, which was a bit earlier. It came from Aaron Alexander at the Fandom Pulse, and it states here, Chris Kindred, the black tranny demon, of Sweet Baby Inc. attempts to cancel a steam curator, Cabrutus, great guy, for revealing uh, their video game projects, the projects of Sweet Baby Inc. And shout out to Brutus, uh, Cabrutus. Uh, it's very difficult to pronounce names, uh, especially when they have a <laughs> Roman edge to them, quite literally in, in Brutus's case. But shout out to Cabrutus, great guy. Uh, most of his uh, platform is on Twitch, so... Him, but he has been doing the rounds on uh, 
uh, prominent, excuse me. Thank you. Uh, he has been doing the rounds on uh, fellow creators' shows. I mean, from Asman Gold, despite his recent uh, takes on things, uh, to Yellow Flash. And yes, Cabrutus will be on uh, this sun, not sun. Oh, blooper fest today. Must be this light. Uh, this Saturday's Saturday Night Hypnosis, Cabrutus will be on to go through this uh, this scandal uh, in regards to Sweet Baby Inc. And uh, I'm very grateful that he's revealed the, the games that Sweet Baby Inc. has covered because, Christ, literally all of them that aren't indie games have bombed. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's my and and don't it. forget the and it, it also explains like 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 the perfect example was um was Spider Man two uh, the perfect example all that stuff going on where with like mm. the with all the flags and everything um that was not the idea of the of the of the developers that was all Sweet Baby Ink because it reeks of it yeah. and this reminds me this reminds me when um the difference between these people and and the develop like the publishers getting involved the publishers back then they got involved in mainly the gaming aspect like now nah, we need to go here here and here uh hey sonya um wonderful lady guys uh be sure to just to sub to her mm -hmm. channel and everything really nice Atreus woman. Anyway, is very so attracted to you for obvious reasons <laughs> anyway Mm. A anyway, um, so the, these consultants go around and they they literally force they literally bully their way. Hi, Paul. Thank you again for your help. Mm. Hi, Dempsey. Uh, um, the, the they're trying to bully their way in. They're bullying the way in just to make us uncomfortable. And Spider Man Two is the perfect example because I remember the Game Awards and rightfully mm -hmm. so that Spider Man Two did get shut out of any awards they didn't win one single one um and everybody on 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 twitter cried about it and me and the other guys were just laughing because we we wanted it to succeed but unfortunately the real world stuff got it put in it killed the immersion and thus we couldn't play it anymore because we go there we go there to have fun and everything, but now that they've done this, uh, Sweet Baby Inc. deserves everything it's getting co coming to them, and I'm glad they got exposed. But we need to further expose these people and get mm -hmm. and get and help out the other companies out of this mess and get them off their case. Because if if we do not, if we do not, and not push and, and don't push hard enough against this. There's gonna be another sweet baby ink. We gotta keep the pressure on. Mm. Um, we gotta keep the pressure on these people. We want these people out of our entertainment, out of our games, out of our movies. Um, and I'm and I'm glad to see that 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 uh, flaming tar um, Chris is having a meltdown. It's glorious to see. He's gonna further meltdown when I get to my video, though. When I make mine, <laughs> I'm I'm not pulling. I'm not holding my punches. I'm going to go right out of the gate with everything. Um, I see everybody do their videos, but I'm going to do mine in a different way. Not like copy paste. I'm going to actual, I'm going to cite sources and everything and oh. keep it, keep it, keep it good. Um, and if it doesn't pick, if it doesn't take off, so be it. At least I got mm. out of my system. <laughs> No, absolutely. And folks, I had to take th that damn thing off my head. It was causing me to go absolutely crazy because it was slowly going over like that. So I just uh, took it off and, and do exactly what Sonia says. Yes, like the stream, share it out. The more perspectives, the better. Uh, apologies for not being able to bring up anything, you know, sharing screens and, and that sort of thing. Uh, mainly because of the fact that uh, both of our signals are far from the best. But as I said in the chat, you can check out the Fandom Pulse yourselves, you great site, and you can check out their articles in regards to Sweet Baby Inc. And, uh, yeah, it's good to see you, uh, Dax. I hope you're doing well, my good man or lovely lady. I can't tell the difference in this uh, day and age. But, 
yeah, the sweet baby ink rabbit hole is a very deep one, and a lot of fine folks and fellow creators are penetrating the topic. As I said in my video, in regards to this topic, the sooner these fuckers are, are uh, pummeled into oblivion, the better. Now, when I made that uh, video, I, I, I wrote it down, paper script, one page long. Hadn't done that for a long time. And that's why I sounded a lot more coherent during, uh, during that video than I usually do, which is good. It's very good. But, uh, yeah. What I did find interesting, though, is reality can be stranger than fiction. Mm. Especially when Atreus recently made a Sweet Baby Ink video uh, lambasting this, I think it was some kind of post from a, from a user. I think it was on Steam, in fact, maybe Reddit, but it turned out to be a, you know, a parody, a satire sort of thing. So no doubt Atreus that's will the, do what all... That's creepy. Hmm? Oh, that's the creepy thing. We can't, we, we, we can't tell which is a parody account or and satire or authentic. So I, 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 I too, I too have fallen for it. I made up for it. I deleted a post. Left the person, let the person who in question never, never spoke with them again. Moved on, but it's that easy, people. It's so easy to like see it. But um, what I, but what I've learned though is what I usually do if I see posts like that, I click on the the person's um profile just to double check to make sure. Do I really want to respond to this? Do I want to look real quick before I respond and not make the same mistake again? Come to find out, it was a parody account, and I'm like, okay, this is a parody account. We're gonna mm -hmm. leave it alone. So we'll aim, we'll aim all our battle cannons the other way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a we'll few examples of some of. Well, I do have a, a few examples of the games that Sweet Baby Inc. has been involved with in one way, shape, or form, such as, but not limited to, the Saints Row reboot, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Alan Wake 2, to name but a few. For about five years, because Sweet Baby Inc. has been operating since 2013. So yeah, solid five years. Maybe six, if they were founded in early 2018. But for a good five years, Sweet Baby Inc. have been poisoning video games, and they have reaped what they have sown. As I wrote down here, they are diverse, queer, ho! To quote a <laughs> but basically, I, I like writing things down so I don't have to think off the top of my head. Uh, Sweet Baby Inc., folks, are the worm tongue wankers. They consult video game companies to their ruination. In uh, Saints Row's case, to the oblivion of not only the Saints Row franchise, but of violation themselves. And you'd think after an example like that, that no one would consult for them again, especially indie games that need word-of-mouth reputation in order to grow and develop, but uh, yeah, they just don't listen. Yeah. Maybe they don't know. That's why we highlight the problem as uh, fine folks and fellow creators. All of those games, Paul, yes, absolutely right. They're all garbage. They all have lots in common, although they did, Sweet Baby Inc. did also um, consultate for Games like God of War Ragnarok and Spider-Man uh, 2, and I think the original Spider-Man as as well. I say original. My God, how many Spider-Man games have there been? But uh, yeah, they they're infecting plenty of things. Um, that that wasn't that wasn't what I was referencing. It was a it was a wrestling mm. reference. <laughs> I think it was Hacksaw Jim Duggan. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can, you can yeah, also it, use that. It's so obvious. Mm. It's so obvious. Um, Spider-Man 2 was probably the straw that finally broke the camel's back. Because mm. everybody looked at it, and, and I looked at it too, because I saw the gameplay. I saw the BS going on. They had a Puerto Rican flag in there, and I'm like, what the hell? And yeah, all the other stuff, and then yeah, Spider Man 2. They, yeah, they you um... even attack the cops, you even mm -hmm. attack the cops, and it's like there's like side missions that don't make sense. I'm like, yeah, this, this, this is not how it's supposed to go. 
it's not well, so, it's in, not like Spider Man. It, it's not. Well, in uh, in Kill the Justice League, we might as well just call it that. Yes, less than a thousand players playing on uh, Steam because they do have uh, those kinds of analytics mm. on Steam, and it just goes to show, folks, we've got another anthem here, another ugh, flop. But uh, yeah, yeah, I is that Puerto Ah Puerto Rico? Uh, how does it feel to be an American but living in a colony? How does that feel? Because uh, <laughs> I'm British, so so that resonates. But uh, yes, as I was saying in regards to a video Atreus made where he fell for a parody uh, of a Sweet Baby Inc. employer. Someone was parodying as a Sweet Baby Inc. employee, employee rather. And uh, knowing Atreus and the kind of man he is and the kind of, of people he belongs to, he will double down. And uh, all who disagree with him, he will call racist because that's the kind of person he is for better or for worse. But uh, yeah, yeah, good. Uh, my goodness. I always like teasing a trace. But the point is, ladies and gentlemen, you highlight the problem, you find the solution, and you be the change you want to see. You're seeing this in real time. Forget the fucking acolyte. Sweet Baby Inc. is the topic that launches a thousand channels. When the Acolyte comes along, I thought, could we make Acolyte a, a topic for today? Nah, fuck it. Uh, but Sweet Baby Inc. really gets what it deserves. And I know, I know, Dempsey, accuracy is, is uh, paramount. But remember, we're not news sources. I'm not a news source. AK is not a news source. Atreus is definitely not a fucking news source. Can you imagine it? Hood news with Atreus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, God, no. We're not news sources, ladies and gentlemen. We provide our perspective. We try our best to be accurate, but we're not a news source. You will never see reality-based news. You will never see Atreus's Hood News Network, HNN. Yeah, one drive by, <laughs> growing one drive by at a time. Yeah, that'd be fucking hilarious. You tell him, Dax and I. You tell Atreus. This channel built. <laughs> this channel was built on the recommendation of a prominent black creator. I am more pro-black creator than Atreus is. That man hates black women. He loves white women. I don't know why. But uh, I am a pro-black creator, Wakanda forever, under my control, obviously, because the truth is reality-based. But we can, we can have these back and forths. The establishment can't. The regime can't. Their pawns cannot. Sweet baby ink if they had their way, would arrest us for having this kind of, of conversation while they pander to susceptible minds. I mean, have you seen their logo, AK? It looks like some fucker is sticking a lollipop up the ass of a child. That's how disgusting it is. The pastel colors, green, blue, pink... Very similar to the pedo flag colors of uh, blue, pink, and, and white. Never black, though. I wonder why. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's good that you find it funny. I didn't grow my channel off of shorts, and I didn't build my channel off of criticizing Black Fanny. No, not, not the <laughs> flower. The woman, Fanny, who, who took on Trump. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, down with Sweet Baby Inc. And hopefully we don't have to play whack-a-mole with them for the next 10 fucking years. Talk about Gamergate 2.0, AK. We've been having the culture war for 10 years. And where are we? Back where we fucking yeah, where, stopped. Where, Another yeah, we're right back. Yeah, re, re, we're back right where we started. Basically, Sweet Baby Inc. is the dream child of Anita and... Zoe Quinn, even though that's not her real name from what I was told by a good friend of mine, mm. it's an alias because we really do not know what her real name is. So we need to drive these people out 
big time because we don't want another tragedy happening again. We don't want another one happening again because the first time it happened, nothing was done. So well, that's what worries me and why we must push harder and harder and harder against these people is to prevent another tragedy like that happening again.